Good afternoon, everyone. We are down on the Strip. We sure are. We are at the beautiful Palazzo, and we are having a staycation. Yeah, we're going to show you the pool. We're going to show you this atrium that we have behind us. We're going to show you a lot of the stuff, and we're going to show you our room. Yeah, we're doing an awesome room tour. Palazzo is all suites, so it is a spectacular room. Yes, and it is crowded. Yeah, actually, it's packed in the casino. We're going to be navigating with our camera, but we're going to do our best for you. So this adventure starts right now. You are going to fall in love with this place just as we did. It is promoted as classic Italian luxury and they do it exquisitely. The lobby, bright, light and airy, is dominated by this beautiful water sculpture by artist Samuel G. Bocciccio. This stunning piece has been wowing visitors since it was first unveiled in 2008. So before you even check in, you're already enthralled with this wonderful property. Right here in the lobby area are two notable restaurants, Morel's French Steakhouse and Lavo, an Italian restaurant with a party included. We'll peek in at those a little bit later on. We're also going to show you the luxury suite. Not an upgrade, mind you, but a standard suite that is the largest on the Strip at 720 square feet. And wait till you see the view. Then there is the Palazzo's pool deck, where all the pools are heated at this time of year, and the landscaping and architecture send you straight to the Italian Riviera. But we're not done yet. The Canyon Ranch Spa is one of the world's largest day spas, occupying a jaw-dropping 134,000 square foot space. Add it all up and you have one fabulous staycation because this is the Palazzo. This all-suite hotel opened in December 2007 at a cost of $1.8 billion, and in 2009 it received the AAA Five Diamond Award the first year it was eligible. Palazzo has 3,068 all-suite rooms and 375 more concierge-level suites. It is currently the second largest building in the Western Hemisphere and the tallest in Nevada. All right, let's check out the room. Yes. Come on in. Hello. Did you bring champagne? Uh, yes, I did. It's on its way up. We are in this beautiful suite, and it is spectacular. The Palazzo Tower has the distinction of offering the largest standard suite on the Las Vegas Strip, a gorgeous, spacious 720 square feet. Each suite is a retreat that serves up total luxury with plush bedding, a separate sunken living room, and no less than Italian marble tile in the bath. And here's your living room. First thing Dale said was, let's stay here and order room service. Yeah, why leave the room? <laughs> it costs us so much money and we spend very little time in the room, which is basically what a lot of people do Everybody when they come that to comes Las to Vegas. Vegas. Would yeah. say the same thing. But just check out this view. Never in my life did I think we would get this kind of a view. This is the old Desert Inn golf course that now is part of the, the win. And it is beautiful. And there is the win uh, pool down there. Yeah, it's late afternoon, so it's in shade, but it is spectacular. And you're looking straight ahead at the mountains over there? That is east. We are facing due east. Right. This incredible construction site below us is the home of the MSG Sphere, an 18,000-seat, first-of-its-kind performance venue that is being built by the Madison Square Garden Company in partnership with Las Vegas Sands at a cost of $1.2 billion. Two TVs, no I shouldn't say that. There are three TVs, I'll show you the third one here in a minute. This is the steps going back up. Here's 
Here's this absolute gorgeous king size bed. And this is your divider. This is solid marble dividing you from black the, marble. Absolutely breathtaking. Dividing you from the living room to the uh, bedroom. This is the closet. I'm not going to open it because all of our suitcases and uh, unmentionables are in there. We, it's a closet. We sort of, yeah, we sort of hid them out. Okay, somebody said they want to see the powder room. There's your third TV. <laughs> you know, while you're taking a shower. I mean, really, seriously? Here's your little uh, place for the ladies to put their makeup on. I intend to use that tomorrow morning. Yeah. Nice double sink. Again, black marble. There's that guy again. Look at him. He just follows me around. Lovely, lovely tub. And the glassed in shower. I'm a big fan. But here's one of the most exciting things to me. I'm gonna open this door. There's a phone in the john. All right, we showed you the room. Paula, tell us the particulars. So I looked at my reservation. I'd actually reserved this at the end of September for an early November stay, so about five or six weeks out. I went on the Venetian website and actually they had a 20% off deal um, definitely go on the websites because they have deals and you definitely want to jump in and grab those. So the room rate for just their standard suite was 127 for a Sunday night. And then when you add in the taxes and the resort fees, I think our end result is about $190 for the night. Terrific. And uh, I want to say shout out to Joshua, our check-in desk uh, agent. He was wonderful. There was no waiting. I think there was one person in front of me on a Sunday afternoon, got in very quickly, and we were in our room well before 2 o'clock. It, yeah. was, it was terrific. It yeah. was great. All right, let's go check out the rest of the place, huh? Yeah, I'm excited. We've only been to the pool. There's lots more to see at the Palazzo. <laughs> okay, we are at the pool at the Palazzo. We sure are. Yes, and the we reason are. we're laughing is because Dale's getting it wrong. Yeah, I am. <laughs> hey, we just got ourselves a gin and tonic. We just got done filming the pool area. I can't wait to show it to you. It's really beautiful, you guys. So, uh, cheers. Cheers to y'all. We'll see you soon. Bye bye. The pool deck is beautifully situated with views of the Palazzo Tower and the gleaming wind and encore as backdrops to crystalline waters and lush plantings. There are several pools to choose from, including a lounge pool that's only a foot deep, hot tubs, and heated pools for cooler days. As we were wandering around the pool area, we noticed the partially completed tower between Venetian and Palazzo, and we asked one of the pool attendants about it. He informed us that it was meant to be condos back in 2008 with the name St. Regis Residences, but once the downturn hit, construction was halted. It's been halted ever since. The building is wrapped in this million dollar decorative shroud, but there are no plans to continue it right now. The cranes you see are actually being used for the Venetian pool upgrade that's going on this year. Things I loved about this pool area, I loved the palm trees, the flowers, the landscaping, and also that it was kind of wide open. It wasn't all crowded together. You weren't slammed together with your neighbors. There was room to stroll, and I really loved being in the pool area. It was a beautiful afternoon. Back in the casino now to check out the restaurants and the bars. Mott 32 is a restaurant that embodies the Chinese culture and philosophy and features farm-to-table cooking on their menu. 
It is named after the famed convenience store on 32 Mott Street in New York City's Chinatown. There's also a table made out of a roulette wheel right inside there. Rosina Cocktail Lounge is labeled as an elegant cocktail retreat, and it is that. Just look at those cozy, secluded booths with the spectacular crystal chandeliers. It has been called one of the best bars in Las Vegas by Condé Nast Traveler and features classic cocktails done right. Hong Kong Cafe is a high-end modern Chinese restaurant with a plum spot right here adjacent to the casino. The cafe serves lunch, dinner, and late-night dishes and showcases the energy of one of the world's most vibrant cities. Try the rice rolls. They are legendary. Major Domo Meat and Fish will be having its debut here at the Palazzo in the coming months, a sister to Chef David Chang's original place over in LA. It will be an American Asian menu inspired by the energy of Las Vegas. They certainly win the prize for an utterly spectacular chandelier. Cocktail Club is located in the heart of the Palazzo Casino and this place takes Las Vegas bars to a new level. Just look at the stunning architecture and decor in this room. The back wall showcases custom digital artwork all evening while DJs spin the tunes. The bar focuses on rum and tequila drinks with lots of wonderful frozen options all designed by award-winning bartender Sam Ross. French Steakhouse and Bistro here in the Palazzo Lobby is the winner of the Wine Spectator Best of Award of Excellence. Morel's is a classic steakhouse with both wet and dry aged steaks, but it's even more than that. It has an iced seafood bar and a cheese bar with more than 60 farmhouse cheese from around the world. They offer more than 400 French and California wines, including 60 available by the glass. Lavo Italian Restaurant is part restaurant, part lounge, and is legendary for its party atmosphere. The decor is inspired by Mediterranean bathhouses, and the one-pound Wagyu beef meatball is your go-to on the menu. Lavo is the same folks that brought you Tao over at the Venetian and is well known as a celebrity hotspot. Gassi Stadium, a sports fan's paradise, a combination of sports bar, sports book, great American food, and stadium seating to watch the game. It combines Emerald Lagasse's kick-up cuisine with more than 100 HD TVs and has received numerous Best of Awards. Today being an NFL Sunday, we could not go in with our cameras, but if you are into sports, this is the place to be. We're walking through the Grand Canal shops here at the Palazzo. Connects the Venetian and the Palazzo together. They're doing a lot of renovation here, so there's not really a lot I can show you. But we can walk through and give you a, a little minute's worth of what they have here. In our Venetian vlog earlier this year, we did an extensive walkthrough of the Grand Canal shops and the gondola ride. Today, we are just venturing into the shops a little way, those closest to the Palazzo to see what's new. 
Looks like there's a lot of renovation and new experiences coming, which is of course why people keep coming back to Vegas over and over again. You stay away for a month or two, and we've changed it. The Grand Canal Shops in total features over 160 signature stores with dozens of luxury brands sprinkled in with truly unique and delicious food and drink establishments, many from celebrity chefs. You could easily spend the day just enjoying all that the shops have to offer. One of the reasons we popped into the Grand Canal shops today was because we had a recommendation from a viewer over in the UK to make sure we visited Buddy V's and their great buffet brunch. We're too late for the brunch, but man, on a busy Sunday afternoon of a holiday weekend, everybody else found the place and why not? Buddy Velastro is best known as the cake boss on TLC and his cakes are legendary. This is his first restaurant, and the menu is full of family favorites based on recipes from mom and grandma. The place is charming with seating in the restaurant here on the shop's walkway or out on the patio with views of the strip. Carlos Bakery, directly across the way, is an offshoot of the original, you know, the one opened in 1910 and the setting for Cake Boss. Carlos started the recent custom cake craze, and there is always a line, but so, so worth it for a taste of Buddy V's excellent cakes. If you have been watching our videos for a while, you may remember that we did a vlog on the Venetian and Palazzo earlier this year. In case you missed that, we can put a link in the description box below. Visitors to the two properties can pass back and forth between them via the Grand Canal shops and through this incredible space, the Palazzo Waterfall Atrium and Gardens. sure which is more eye-catching, this big beautiful statement art piece by Laura Kimpton, the love sculpture, or the antique gondola riding among the chrysanthemums, but from any direction and any vantage point, this atrium is spectacular. <music> While we're on the subject of love, I have to interrupt our tour for just a second. One of the very coolest things that happens to us as vloggers is when we actually get to meet someone who watches our channel, and that's exactly what happened in the atrium last weekend. We were on our way to have dinner when someone tapped me on the shoulder, and it was this lovely couple, Sam and Hannah from Portsmouth, England, on their honeymoon here in Las Vegas. So lovely to meet you both, and we wish you a lifetime of love, happiness, and adventure. Cheers! Okay, it's time for dinner. We're at the Grand Lux Cafe. This is Yay. one of our favorite places, isn't it? And actually, I have to tell you, we walked the Palazzo and even out into the Grand Canal shops, and we looked at menus, and we still ended up at the Grand Lux. We, we always end up at the Grand Lux. Yes, we're creatures of habit. We like what we like. So, we have changed quarters. We were in the main restaurant at the Grand Lux, and you know, if we don't get waited on in five or 10 minutes, we do not wait, we move on. Meanwhile, we do love the Grand Lux, so we came into the bar. We're bar people anyway. What is this guy behind me? Just ignore him, please. Anyway, like I said, we came into the bar, we got waited on immediately at the bar top, and we have ordered our food, so we will let you know when it arrives. Please ignore that man, who is he? Okay. Another glass of wine? No, one's fine, then they're good. So what did you get, Paula? This is called Sunday Night Pasta, and it's a combination of beef short rib and uh, ground beef and tomato sauce and vegetables, root vegetables. I'm excited. This is really a cool dish. And uh, homemade bread. I mean, and it was fresh. Bread. It was incredible. And I got the salmon. Oh, 
I told you guys, no promises. This is called miso glazed salmon, and it looks absolutely fabulous. We'll tell you what it's all about after we're done, right? Oh, Paula, you couldn't finish it, could you? I definitely finished all the short ribs. That sauce was incredible. It, I, I tried it. It was really, it was really good. It was amazing. I would have that again. Absolutely. It was really great. Let me just uh, go over here and see how well I did. Oh, salmon's gone. Lots of rice left. I can barely move. I'm stuffed. After dinner, we went to Rosina's for a quick cocktail and then off to our fabulous suite for bed. Check out the view from our window. It was spectacular. As the sun breaks on the desert, a soft glow rises from the valley floor, lighting up an ancient ocean like silent waves rolling in a mystic motion to a long forgotten shore. As the nighttime ends its silence, the sunlight warms another day. It illuminates a one-act play, and the ground below starts to breathe and grow as the world displays its grandeur. Good morning, Las Vegas, and thank you for another day of blue skies and desert scenes. Good morning, everyone. We are at the Canyon Ranch Grill at the Palazzo. It is the next morning. Yes, it is. We are. Uh, this is part of the spa, part of the Canyon Ranch Spa. And uh, shout out to my brother who was here last week. He said I had to come here for breakfast, so here we are. Yeah, I think we're just going to get. Uh, I'm going to get a little bit of yogurt. I think you're going to get oatmeal. We overdid yesterday, so oh, we're trying slightly. to be healthy yeah. this morning. <laughs> so we'll show you what we have. Yep. All right, we'll be right back. See you soon. Okay. <laughs> so what, what was that you just did? No spills. Uh, this is loose leaf tea and I was told I had to pump this before I poured. I was afraid I was going to spill it all over the table. What'd you get there? I got the chef's oatmeal with uh, various fruits, cinnamon and maple. Oh, this smells and looks wonderful. And I got a yogurt with fruit. Uh, nuts and um, granola. Flower blossoms. And flower blossoms. <laughs> Directly next to the Canyon Ranch Grill is the Canyon Ranch Spa, situated on the third floor of the Palazzo Tower. Canyon Ranch is one of the world's largest day spas with more than 90 treatment rooms, 150 different services, and a whopping 134,000 square feet of space. It has been awarded four stars by Forbes Travel Guide and well-deserved. Okay, that's going to do it from the Palazzo. What would you think about this one, Paula? All this right, was terrific, Dale, huh? Dale, I have to say, this might be my very favorite staycation so far this year. We had a wonderful time. We did a lot of stuff and spent a lot of money. Well, yeah, we definitely <laughs> did, but we, we did the extravagant version of a staycation, and I don't regret it. We had a great time at Palazzo. Uh, it has a lot to recommend it. Love the place. And it's, this is Veterans Weekend, and today is Veterans Day, the day we're leaving. And uh, Sheldon Adelson and his wife do something very special on this weekend, don't they? They do. They fly in vets from across the country. They pay for the airfare and uh, put them up, put, give them the time of their lives, give them a great memory and send them home. And uh, it's just in thanks. And so we just give our hats off to the Adelsons, Venetian, and Palazzo for doing that. It That's makes your amazing. hearts very full. It does, yeah. absolutely. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you do subscribe, what do they have to do? Hit that notification, notification button. Bell. That's right. <laughs> you got anything else to say? Uh, no. Thanks for uh, spending your staycation with us. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Yes. And we'll I hope, see you soon. I hope you had a good time. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye. <laughs>